Well, good afternoon, Timothy. Uh, good afternoon to you, Tom. <laughs> How are you? I am awesome. Thank you for joining us. It's a privilege for you to be here with us all the way from Katosa, Katosi, Uganda. Katosi, Uganda. Yes, yes, yeah. And Timothy Kakosa is joining us today, and uh, he is going to tell us about his work there in Uganda. So you, you felt compassion to go to this new place that was much more difficult, and upon arriving, the very soon, you brought in three children. Yes. Ten-year-old, trying to take care of his siblings, but they had much less than you had. Yes. And so you brought that first family of three in. Yes. I see. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of the year, we had 25 kids like them. Oh, just in a year? Yes. One year? Yes. 25 children just like Like them. them. And you oh, could boy. imagine, Tom, what 25 kids look like in a house. Oh, how big is this house? How many, <laughs> how many bedrooms did you have in this first house? Two. Two bedrooms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, everybody's sleeping everywhere. <laughs> so let's spool forward a few years. Those 25 children grew into how many today? 848 kids. 848 children today. Yes, yes. And you're feeding them three meals a day? Three meals a day. And that's? 2,000, how many? 2,544 meals. 2,544 meals a yeah. day. Yeah, it's almost impossible, yes. And you're doing that on wood fires. Yes. You're cooking 2,544 meals a day on yeah. wood fires. Oh, yeah, it's becoming more difficult, you know, to feed the kids mm-hmm. because you have to cook with firewood every day. Yeah. That's why we are talking about the industrial kitchen. You would like to put together what you call an industrial kitchen. Yes. Uh, Maybe we would call it here a commercial kitchen. Commercial kitchen. But but it's a building. Yeah. And inside that building, you're going to use uh, gas now to cook with. Yes. And so your expenses hopefully will go down because you don't have to have this firewood. Yes. But also the time. Yes. It must be... Interesting, trying to get all that firewood in yeah, every day. Yeah. Let's go back just a little bit. I think one of the things you told me early in the story was about Jennifer's, uh, your wife now of how many years? 35. 35 years, yeah. uh, Jennifer. That's awesome. Now, Jennifer was a teacher, right? Yes. And so it came on her heart to do what for the children? Because she had a background of being a teacher, that's how she came up with the suggestion to have a school for these kids. Okay. That's how the school started. I see. And uh, the school and the orphanage, you know, they're running together. They run together, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so her vision uh, coming together was to uh, not only feed them, yes. but now how do we make it so that they can feed themselves yes. as we move forward? Yes. And so the, the solution was education. Yes. And I think I heard you say that you started with a garden. Yeah. We are looking at getting land, a big chunk of land, so that we okay. may increase the production. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Then I think you told me that was 100 acres? 100 acres of land. Okay. So the target on that is uh, $200,000. Yes. To buy that 100 acres. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. How can we engage with you? How can we help? Now, the first priority that we have is land. It's uh, We call it a golden opportunity to have 100 acres of land in just one place. I see. So you have an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes. But you need to seize that opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity. The way that we could engage is to uh, connect with IMF in Minnetonka Beach, Minnesota, 55361. It's P.O. Box 98. So there's a website here as well, uh, Winners Children Home, www.winnerschildrenhome.com. And uh, you can give just directly online. Yes. If you are looking to connect, the first thing we can do is help raise that money for that land yeah. so that uh, Timothy can reduce his expenses, employ more people, yeah. grow some good, fresh food yeah. for those children. And, uh, and all the families that are associated to them. Sure. So, right? We need you. We need your help. We need your support. Mm-hmm. We need you to join on board. So together, 
we can make a, a positive difference yeah. in these children. Yeah, thank you. All right, Timothy, you've got a big dream. <laughs> thank you. You've got a heart of gold. Yeah. And um, you've uh, come here to the to the U.S. Yes. And um, you are asking those of us that would find that same compassion, sure. that same empathy, sure, to join with to you. To join me. And You're enhanced with us and uh, mm-hmm. accomplish this dream. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you so much, Timothy. Thank you for who you are. I thank God for who he made you to be. You're an awesome man. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for being here today. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes.